Hey everybody, Justin here with Ultrabyte Lights, and let me show you how easy it is to install a Z-Flash LCM on this 2023 Suburban. So included in the package is your module and these two harnesses. This harness is the one that's going to connect to the vehicle. Simply take this plug and plug it in to the top of the module, just like that. When we go inside, I'll show you how to connect these two plugs inside the vehicle. And then for controlling the module, you have either hardwire options. So if you want to connect these to an upfitter switch or an external controller, switch box, etc., these are what you're going to want to use. If you just want a quick and easy installation, this is the included switch, which has 3M tape on it. Just remove that and stick this onto your dashboard or console or wherever you want to mount this for easy activation. This little plug connects right to the bottom of the module, and that's it. Let's head inside and I'll show you how it works. So before you install the module, make sure you open the driver's side door and leave it open for at least five minutes with the vehicle off. So the vehicle off for five minutes with the driver's side door open, most important step. Otherwise, you're gonna trip a check engine light. Next, if you don't have one, highly recommend using one of these picks. There's a small tab that's gonna be on the LCM wire inside the factory harness. It's gonna be right here. It's not on ours, but it is on the factory one. And using this little pick, you can pick that off and it'll save you a lot of time. Um, any side with a small screwdriver will be best, but these uh, small right angle picks are gonna be your best bet. So the LCM is gonna be located right up underneath the driver's side dash um, over to the left on this side. It's gonna be right next to the BCM. The BCM has seven wires coming out of it while the LCM has five wires. So we're gonna want the one that's the LCM with five wires coming out of it. Let me show you how that works. The LCM module is gonna be right here. And if you wanna make things easier, I would recommend removing this panel here. Just like that, and that'll allow you easy access to the LCM. So here is the BCM, and this one right here, again with the five plugs coming out of it, is the LCM. We're going to go ahead and remove this purple one right here. As I mentioned, the pick tool is going to be your best friend. The small tab there, and now I can remove that. I can push the tab in, pull the wire out. Just like that. Now that I've removed the vehicle harness, I'll go ahead and plug in the Z flash. So now that my module is installed, I'm going to go ahead and just untwist the harness here, install my switch, tuck the module away nicely, and I'm ready to go. The easiest way to activate your module is using the included switch. Simply hold it down for three seconds. And that noise, along with the turn signal indicators, indicates that the module is on. To change the flash pattern, just hit it for about one second. They'll flash again. And they will blink the amount of times to indicate the number pattern that you're on. So that time it blinked three times to tell me I'm on pattern three. They just blinked once. Now it tells me I'm on pattern one. There's a quick and easy way to activate the lights while your vehicle's off. Simply use the vehicle's key fob to lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Now we'll activate all the lights on your vehicle. 